السلام عليكم this is solid modeling lecture number one in this lecture we will talk about how to open files in autodesk inventor professional by the way this is the virgin 2019 so as you see in the display on display this is the user interface for the solid uh, inventor professional 2019 so at the beginning as you see we have tools here so you can open new file open an old file project and so on uh, here as you see if you want to open a new file you have part file drawing file assembly presentation here are the projects where you find we are using the default one and these are the recent document you used before you can select what you want to see parts or drawings or assembly or all and so on so at the beginning you have to start a new file so I'm pressing on this tool as you see now this is the create a new file window we uh, at the beginning we have to select which units we want to use uh, as example we can use metric if you want to use millimeter and so on or English if you want to use inches as example I will select metric now uh, we have three types of files three types of files the first one it is part file where you can uh, design your part build your part and as you see we have two types here we have sheet metal and standard part actually all of these files can be used to uh, generate or to draw or to model a part but when you have uh, to design a sheet metal working where the thickness is uniform everywhere it is better to select the sheet metal you have then DIN standard or international millimetric standard you can select any one of them uh, and uh, it's preferred to uh, use the sheet metal when you design a sheet metal working because you have uh, tools uh, that simplify the design and make it easier to uh, make the part while the standard one if you want to design any part and 3d shape uh, and the thickness here is not uh, uniform not uh, uh, not stand not, not uniform not equal so you can design any part actually I can design a sheet metal using the standard part but uh, it will be a little bit uh, harder than the sheet metal so it's better to use the sheet metal when you want to use or to draw a sheet metal working now the second type file it's the assembly file actually when you design uh, machine parts you have to build them uh, individual file as individual files using standard or sheet metal then you can assemble them using the standard or the uh, sorry uh, assembly file so we have in the assembly you have different files you have mold design din or millimeter we have standard din or millimeter weldment different uh, say that standards uh, now guys again uh, I can do the assembly uh, for anything using the standard but if you are designing a mold it's easy it's easier to use the mold design uh, uh, user interface because there are some tools help you more to uh, build your design if you want to make assembly using weldment it's better to use one of these weldment standard files or user interfaces uh, why because uh, you, you can find tools simplify your work or make it easier to design or to assemble the weldment assembly uh, in general we can use the standard uh, if you have parts and you want to design a machine you can use a standard assembly now guys I see in the first part in the in the first file it is a part file uh, as you see the extension is IPT inventor part in the assembly you can find dot IAM inventor assembly the third file type it's drawing I see dot DWG or dot IDW now this drawing uh, user interface 
uh, it enable you to generate multi views with dimensions with notes and you can print them as a technical drawing the third the fourth type uh, it is the presentation where you have uh, if you want if you, if you have an assembly and, and you want to create an exploded view or exploded projection for the assembly to show others how you assemble the part or how they can assemble the parts so we have a standard part to do design a part 3d we have assembly to assemble more than one part together to make a machine we have drawing file to generate technical drawings like multi views isometric section view and uh, etc and we have presentation to create exploded view so surely at the beginning we have to uh, design a part so select the unit and then go to standard you can use din or millimeter i will select millimeter and then press ok or create so i'm creating now the part file just wait for uh, inventor to open the new file Now a message appear that uh, appears that the following style definition in template etc differ from the definition in style library the style library definition will be used it's okay and wait now the file uh, ready it's a new file the name of the file as you see it's part number one here at the top of the file uh, that was disk inventor 2019 here we have uh, the pull down or the menus here or the uh, tool uh, the tools uh, as you see we have file tools we have 3d model sketch we have annotation inspection tool manage view environment get start collaborate so at the beginning we have uh, to go to sketch where you find the 2d 2d sketches all of the 2d sketches uh, tools sorry 2d tools that we can use if you want to sketch a 2d uh, and here we have the model or the browser model browser as you see this is part number one in the part number one we have the origin the origin we have the xy plane yz plane xz plane y x plane x axis y axis z axis and the center point we can hide any of them or make them visible if you want to use them later so i will make them like this so till now i see in the part number one it's empty no sketches no no features by the way if we want to uh, generate uh, a 3d shape in inventor we have to start from 2d sketch so to generate a feature 3d feature we have to start from 2d sketch so we have two main things here 2d sketch and 3d feature uh, to make uh, or to create a 2d sketch we have to use 2d tools once we finish the sketch we can get out from the sketch and go to uh, generate the 3d feature now here guys we have some tools this is the home as you see this is the home where you can see uh, your drawing or your uh, solid model as a 3d this is the front this is the uh, this, sorry this is the, the front this is the side uh, right view this is top view anytime you can uh, uh, navigate from view to another view this is top by the way you can select this to go to isometric in this view you can go to ba back to the home anytime here we have uh, the uh, full navigation wheel you, we can use it now this one it's the pan pan used to move the uh, drawing right left up down here we have the zoom extent zoom all zoom window this is the free orbit you can uh, rotate the object in 3d and this is look at i will teach you how to use them later uh, and here is the uh, user or we can say that it's the word core system the system the origin of the file and here we have how we can if you have more than one file how we can arrange them in, in uh, cascaded or arrange in, in uh, uh, 
uh, say that uh, button uh, like uh, rows and uh, columns here we have just two tile horizontal tile vertical and this is the my home uh, the beginning of the file and this is part number one where we uh, we are now this is the area where you want to draw the sketch or the feature now guys let us just do some uh, simple exercise I want to make a cube so I want to start to draw rectangle like this so uh, at the beginning when you select the tool uh, of uh, to draw without selecting a, a sketch a plane it will uh, encourage you to, to select the plane I let uh, I will make escape and go back to create to this sketch as you see then I will select I want the sketch on this plane just click on this plane to select it uh, I'll see this is the front view you can rotate it left you can rotate the view to the right and so on you can click on the scroll click on the scroll of the mouse hold and move to make pan like this okay now I will create a rectangle say that the rectangle <coughs> uh, first corner here now we have to uh, move and select the second corner now I'll see we have a rectangle uh, two lines are parallel as you can see the sign here and these two lines are parallel and this line and this line perpendicular these are some constraints escape um, as you see this is the origin of the file this is the rectangle I have uh, this rectangle as you see here four dimension needed that means it's not fully constrained we can add dimension this dimension click select the line and move and click and you can change the dimension as example we can select 200 millimeter uh, select this line again move and click here we can say that this is 100 uh, finish the sketch uh, we can make zoom extend to see or fit uh, extent or uh, best fit double click on the scroll double click on the scroll and then move scroll uh, forward backward to to make zoom in zoom out again double click on the scroll to make uh, zoom extent or best fit and you can uh, move the scroll forward backward to make zoom in zoom out click on the scroll and hold then move right move left up down to pan to make pan or to move the view not the object okay now we are ready to uh, use this sketch uh, by the way uh, uh, I pressed uh, finish uh, sketch let me go back to here show you again this is part number one as you see this is the origin and here it's the sketch number one I see sketch number one not used yet so I will right click I'm outside the sketch then I will select edit sketch when you select edit sketch it will move direct and go inside the sketch I see these are hold uh, uh, these are not used actually this is we can't select this we can't select this one because we are inside the sketch now now inside the sketch I can uh, update the dimension say that 205 as example